What's up guys? Um, welcome back. Today I'm going to be reviewing this beautiful, beautiful book. I know how furiously your heart is beating by Alex Soth. Um, so I got this book um, in lockdown. I'm in New Zealand so we had COVID lockdown late March, early April um, through that period of time and I really wanted to start my book collection so this is the first one first proper proper book um, incredible it's all about um, really I guess the human condition and the human environments and how they relate um, very quiet photographs, very peaceful, like kind of an inner thought of the human brain. And there's images of kind of inanimate objects, books, and rooms, and um, kind of breaks it up for me a little bit. And also reflects on the ideas and the spaces that like, that those ideas come about. Almost like a point of view from the person's head. Didn't actually realise that before until right now. So. The, the whole idea of the viewer and the view, that whole, um, what's it called? It's kind of the whole idea of the viewer and the view, that whole, um, what's it called? Discourse, that's the one. The viewer view discourse. Um, really incredible images. They work so well together. I don't get um, startled by any, they'll have their place and they very, I can tell Alex sort of like meticulously plans out these books. jarring at all. It's very fluid, easy, calming, fits with the whole idea of the book that it's um, looking at the book and the book, the photographs in that case, looking back and that relationship. And we have these um, yellow pink, and they're also different um, paperweights. Pink at the start is slightly lighter than the, um, I guess the body pages of the book, like the bread, the bread of the book. Um, so it's a different texture, this is more luster, and this is lighter. Um, a feeling, a little bit of texture, it's beautiful. And then pink right at the very back. Oh, sorry. Didn't realise. A little bit of writing in the middle on these yellow pages. I haven't had a proper look into this book yet. Kind of been waiting on it until I could really give me headspace for a good look at it for what the book is and what the artist intended and how I could think this way because 
I was super busy in lockdown. It was just work, because I work in the supermarket, essential worker. Um, so it was, I just wanted to wait for a moment where I could really focus on this and think about it the way I'm thinking to the camera. The way you're seeing me think about, thinking about the book. <laughs> also, sorry, I don't have a microphone at the moment. Um, that's going to be something that I'm going to look for in the future and let me know if that's something that would help you guys hear me. Um, I'll play with the audio on this and hopefully we can get it like similar to microphone quality sound but I'm not, it's just not going to be the same. I printed in Italy. This is a first edition too, so it's an amazing book in a few years, it might be worth something. Not that I would want to give it up anyway. <laughs> it's a collection piece. I love that. Just that little Mac right there, it's the publisher. Um, embossed pink. And this really nice dark grey textured um, cover. Hardcover. And on the spine you have the artist. Oh, artist, name of the book, and these four, four dots down the bottom, and that is the book. To do point of view videos on this. Um, I go out and shoot myself. Um, I take photos of strangers, photos on the street, street photography, portraiture, landscapes, documentary. Um, if you want to see that sort of stuff, subscribe, like this video. Um, yeah, welcome to grow this. Um, just make it chill, super chill. Um, yeah, go out, follow me shooting, um, working on projects, and going through the whole um, journey to get this page and this business, since it, this is the beginning of this business, um, started. Um, if you want to work together, if you're in New Zealand, um, my email is in the description below. Um, it's also in my channel about um, about page. So if you want to work with me, email me at chrischivers.photo at gmail.com and go check out my Instagram at chrischivers.photographer um, to see my work. Um, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching the video and I hope you guys have a rad day. Thank you.